Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on how to install Vue.js in Laravel step-by-step. -step. Vue. JS is a popular front-end framework, while Laravel is a powerful back-end framework. Combining these two technologies can result in efficient and powerful web applications. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing Vue.js in Laravel. Installing Vue.js in Laravel is very simple but still some newbies can't do it yet. I hope this video will be a useful guide. First, we will create a Vue.js example project with the command composer create project Laravel Vue.js example. Project has been created. I will open it with Visual Studio Code. Next I will run the command composer require Laravel slash UI. It is a command used in Laravel framework to install the Laravel user interface scaffolding package. Laravel UI provides a way to quickly scaffold the front end of a Laravel application with pre built user interface components and assets, such as login and registration forms, password reset functionality, and CSS styling. The package includes support for several popular front end frameworks such as Bootstrap, Vue, and React. Next, I will run the command PHP Artisan UI View. It is a command used in Laravel framework to generate the view. JS front-end scaffolding for a new or existing application. View. JS is a popular JavaScript framework for building user interfaces and applications, and Laravel provides an easy way to integrate it into your project using the Laravel UI package. Next I will run the command npm install. It is a command used in Node. JS to install dependencies for a project. Node. JS is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows developers to run JavaScript code on the server side, and npm short for Node Package Manager is the default package manager for Node. JS. OK, our package installation is done. I will run npm run dev and php artisan to start the server. The first line of code import bootstrap imports the bootstrap CSS and JavaScript framework into the current JavaScript module. This allows the application to use the styles and functionality provided by bootstrap. The second line of code import create app from view imports the create app function from the view JS library. The next line declares a constant variable app that holds the result of calling the create app function. This function is a factory method provided by the Vue.js framework that creates a new Vue application instance. The object passed to create app is an optional configuration object that can be used to customize the behavior of the Vue application instance. The next line of code imports a Vue component from a file named example component. Vue. This component is defined in a single file Vue component format, which allows you to define the template, script, and style for a Vue component in a single file. The next line of code registers the example component component with the app instance using the component method. This makes the component available for use within the view application. The first argument to the component method is a string that represents the name of the component, and the second argument is the component itself. After registering the component, you can use it in the template of any view component in the application by including a custom element with the same name as the registered component. In this case, you can use the example component element in the template of any view component to render the example component component. The app mount app method call is used to mount the view application instance to a specific DOM element in the HTML document. OK, now I will insert the example component into the welcome blade.
nothing to display yet. I'll have to add a link to the app.js. Vite Resources JS app.js could be a custom directive or annotation used by the Vite. JS build tool to indicate that the app.js file and the resources JS directory should be processed by the Vite. JS build tool. Okay, our component has been successfully rendered. Now I can create components and use it. I will finish the tutorial to install Vuge on Laravel. If you find it useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you, goodbye.